Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Quake 1.5 on the Nightmare difficulty setting. This is E2M5, The Wizard's Mans. Okie dokie. First thing we're gonna do here is lob some grenades around the corner. Because there are a lot of baddies that need to die. Up next is kill these two ogres with the rocket launcher. And this fiend. I'm gonna get you. Because I need to jump down anyway. For this secret here. And now it's time to venture into the wizard's man's main. Look at this design. Isn't it magnificent? This, this is my favorite uh, design of Quake. This uh, fortress slash mansion slash whatever this is. Castle. Oh, it is a man's. You get my point. So the most difficult part of this level is probably the um, the vertical rooms with all these bridges uh, overlapping each other, with the ogres on top spam spamming grenades at you. That's probably going to be your number one cause of death: eating too many grenades. Okay, I have eleven health. This is the most difficult room in this level. Let's see if I survive. I'm gonna wake up the Shambler. And I'm getting out of here. And then I will jump down. And get myself some quad damage. And hopefully not die. Twenty five health. Sixteen health. All right, I'm safe. There is a mega health in the asset. Let's quickly grab it. Why am I not using the rocket launcher? Good question. And look, we have a new weapon! The Thunderbolt. I'm gonna use it later. Just hold on a bit. There's no reason to use it yet. Man, these ogres are so annoying. Okay, we're here we're gonna fight four Skreks. And... Burn, baby burn. There's a uh, Shambler be below me. I'll get him in a bit. First I wanna kill this Shambler with the Thunderbolt. So yeah, the lightning gun is pretty much the same, except it has a um, um, chain lightning uh, effect. So monsters nearby are also electrocuted, not just the one you're targeting. Okay, before I press the switch, I'm gonna kill the remaining monsters. Any zombies down here? I cannot tell. Oh, and the red armor is very important. Nearly forgot that. I really hope no zombies are in the water. That often happens. And you have to uh, hunt them down and kill them all. Oh, I hear another one. And he's feeling suicidal. Did I kill him? I think so. 
you're never sure with these uh, zombies. Kinda want some health, but I don't think there's any health nearby. So I'm gonna press the switch. No, 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 wait, shit! Oh no, I didn't mean to press it. Crap. This is a trap. It's gonna help. Lower you into the water and you're dead. You're gonna drown. There's no way to escape. Shit, what a mistake. Why did I do that? Well, it's been nice knowing you guys. I'm uh I'm dead. Bye bye. Just kidding. Ho ho ho. Man, I'm epic. I'm an epic troll. Ho ho. Okay, so we have the gold key. We can open the gold the, uh, the gold door. But first, let's open up this suspicious wall. Get some more red armor. Prepare our lightning gun. Because we have one more final fight. And there. All the kills, all the secrets. We are done. The Wizard's Mance. This is my favorite episode 2 map. And um, like I said, it has my favorite design of the entire game. It's uh, also made by uh, Mr. John Romero. I think even John Romero thinks this is his favorite. But I'm not sure about that. But yeah, I, uh, I love this level. Uh, lots of good fights, great design. It introduces you to one of my favorite guns, the lightning gun. And that's just uh, a bunch of fun. And most importantly, it's not broken. No missing kills. No uh, uh, weird uh, bugs or anything. And uh, it's just extremely solid map. Good stuff. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.